Hey guys, my name is Liz and today I want to show you my pretty red October TBR um, for which I've decided on a theme and the theme was inspired by my newest book by which just came out and that's Natalie Haynes' Stone Plant Medusa story. So Medusa is one of my absolute favorite mythological figures. I wrote my master thesis about her, that's how much I like her. And um, Natalie Haynes is a terrific author who writes about female um, mythological people um, from a feminist or from a very much female perspective. And um, that's why I was so excited to hear that she was writing Medusa's story because I think she's going to do a terrific job of it. Um, so this story is about Medusa who was raped by Poseidon uh, in, um, in the temple of Athene. And Athene um, um, is a quite a vengeful god and instead of um, going up against the very powerful Poseidon she decides you know what I'm just gonna curse the victim and curses Medusa with locks made of snakes and the ability to turn anybody who takes a look at her into stone and yeah don't know much more than this about it this is a beautiful book by a good author about my favorite mythological person so this is gonna be a banger and because of this I decided to read mythological retellings like especially about Greek myths and um, I have so many on my TBR I because I love retellings but I never really get to read them so yeah totally looking forward to my TBR this month Another book that is a very recent addition to my library is Shit Cassandra Saw by Gwen E. Kirby. So these are short stories. Um, and Cassandra is um, a woman that I think was part of the Trojan War and she was cursed with visions, um, uh, true visions about the future, but nobody is going to believe her and that was her curse. And I think Gwen E. Kirby writes about women being fed up of not being listened to. I don't know if all of them are um, retellings of Greek myths, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to this book because the cover is just banger. I mean, this is the craziest cover on my bookshelf and I love it. Um, another book that has been... Um, um, on my TBR, but um, is a very recent edition, is A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett Sinclair. So this is a Hades and Persephone retelling, and it's a romance that is supposed to be pretty spicy. Um, and since I read one romance at least each month, um, because it's sort of a palate cleanser for me, um, I decided to add this to my stack. So this is a modern retelling of the Hades and Persephone story. Persephone is the goddess of spring and she decides, you know what, I'm just going to pose as a mortal journalist to live a sort of normal life. And she encounters Hades, the god of death, and he has like this gambling empire and I think she's like doing some investive journalism, some sort of that. Like, and she somehow ends up losing a bet or making a bet with him. Um, that she has to live with him in the underworld. I don't know, know much more than this about the story, but it's a trilogy and it's supposed to be pretty good. So, don't know, looking forward to it. Um, a completely different book, like next three books all take, like are all part of the Odyssey. And um, one of them is by an author I definitely have to read. If you've watched my video, Authors I Need to Finally Read, you will know that I have 11 books by one author and haven't read a single one of them. And that's Sander Marai. I'm definitely sure I'm butchering, uh, like butchering his, the pronunciation of his name uh, because he's an Hungarian author and they make shushes sh 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 out of S's and that sort of thing. I'm just gonna call him Sander Marai and we're gonna pretend that this is the correct pronunciation. <laughs> Um, so this is The Women of Ithaca. Um, I don't know if it has been translated, uh, but this is the German copy and um, it's about the women of Ithaca and how they felt when Odysseus uh, returned from his travels. 
So Penelope didn't really want her husband back. He was quite a volatile person and um, she hasn't seen him in like 11 years and she like is not in love with him anymore. So she isn't particularly excited about having him back. And all the other women of Ithaca are pretty pissed because he killed quite a lot of men um, when he came back. Um, most of them were the sons, husbands, friends, whatever, of the women, other women of Ithaca. And yeah, um, I think this is going to be a really interesting take um, on the female perspective of the story by a, by a male author. So looking forward to this one. The next one is also by a male author, but this time about a male perspective, and it's Telemark by Michael Kuhlmeier. So Michael Kuhlmeier is an Austrian author, and he did a really famous audio, audio series where he retold Greek myths with quite a lot of humor, a lot of knowledge, like he's a nerd when it comes to Greek myths. And he wrote a couple of books about them as well, so um, I decided to buy it because I'm a huge fan of his verbal retellings. And this is the story of Telemach, who is the son of Odysseus, and what it was like for him to grow up without a father, his relationship with his mother in that sort of th term, and what it was like for him to have that father, to have that father return, and um, to sort of deal with his expectations of the father and the reality of his father. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one because I really love the verbal retellings, but I don't necessarily like his books. So this is gonna be an interesting one. And the next book that's also about um, the Trojan Wars and that's part of the Odyssey um, is another Natalie Haynes book and that's A Thousand Ships. And this book, I think, was nominated for the Women's Fiction Prize, and um, that's what sort of drew my attention to her. Um, this is the book when she became like a sort of booktube darling, um, the book everyone was talking about for quite a while, and it's supposed to be really terrific. So this um, is a retelling of the Trojan War and the aftermath from a female perspective. And... Yeah, that's all I know about it. I don't need to know more because it sounds pretty amazing. I also have um, a book that I don't, haven't really heard anything about and that's Charlotte Higgins' Greek Myths, a new retelling, um, which also has like drawings in it. It looks very cheap, not gonna lie, it's a weird book, um, but in this she uh, tells the stories of different um, female, like the mythological women um, of the Greek myths, and she, I think, puts a feminist twist on them, uh, which sounds like it's just up my alley. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one. And last but not least, I have a book on my uh, Tolino, which is like a sort of Kindle uh, version, and that's a YA retelling of Medusa's story, and it's called Lore by Alexander Bracken. That's all I know about it. I know it's YA and it's a retelling of Medusa's story and that's it. So, but I've heard good things about this. So excited, I'm excited to read this. So yeah, that is my, in my opinion, pretty cool TBR for October. I'm gonna be on vacation um, for like the second half of October, um, which is, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to them because in my, experience I read a lot less when I'm on vacation for some reason even though I have the time but I end up doing a lot with my boyfriend we're gonna end up seeing sightseeing and that sort of thing um so yeah but I'm definitely looking forward to this TBR and yeah let me know if you've read any of these uh in down in the comments below please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon bye